welcome back. In this updated lesson, I just would like to uh, let everyone know that the Power App Studio is no longer available. So all you need to do is simply work with the cloud version of your Power Apps Studio. So what Microsoft did was simply deprecated the Power App Studio. So in the lessons that you've been working with so far, you were actually able to download Power App Studio desktop version, but with the latest Power Apps, you would not be able to do so. Okay, so everything else stays the same. You continue to work with the same functionality, same formulas, same types of app. You can build exactly the same things. The only difference is that you would now only be working with the cloud version, which is the Power Apps or the web.powerapps.com. So let me go ahead and kind of show you the documentation so you're aware of this particular change moving forward or as you're working with the exercise files or the labs or all the lessons that I'm actually demonstrating in creating the apps, you should be able to do so without any issues with working with the cloud version, which is the web.powerapps.com version, okay? But let me go ahead and switch to the documentation. So the Power Apps Studio for the web is now only available for production use. If I scroll down, going forward, Microsoft says that they'll be deprecating the authoring capabilities of the Power Apps for Windows. Okay, so this is important. Power Apps Studio for Windows is, however, still be available to download from the Windows Store, but you can only use to play apps. Okay, so you can't really author anything. In other words, you can't really create apps or edit apps, work with them. You can only play them. The current studio authoring experience in the desktop app will be deprecated or it has been deprecated since June 2018. So several students have asked me, I've been meaning to update the course and I'm in the process of updating the course. So I just wanted to make this quick lesson so that uh, everyone knows that moving forward, we're just gonna work with the web.powerapps.com. So this is the URL. So all you need to do is navigate to this URL, log in, and you would work just like you've been working and follow along with all of the lessons. So I hope this helped. So I just wanted to quickly show you the change working with the desktop version. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area, and I'll be glad to help. And I'd like to thank all my students that have highlighted this part, and then I'm making this lesson so that everyone follows accordingly. So with this, let's move to the next lesson.